Dude, you don't get it. We're at CrossFit Inferno, and this is my gym. We've had it open since 2008. I've been doing CrossFit for since about late 2006. I mean, our whole life we were athletes, so um, both were state champs and high school wrestlers um, out of Arizona. We both swam and wrestled from like five years old on. Uh, both went to college and wrestled. For me, it was real easy to get into this because I kind of stayed in that vein. Where Bill took off and like really went head first into the CrossFit world, I was still being a musician. I, you know, lived that lifestyle and, you know, then I got to the point where I'm making music for TV and film and I'm doing all that and it really was, I felt like that athlete needed to return, I guess. So who's on your arm? This is my dad. Yeah, this is him wrestling in uh, the 60s in college. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah. I've competed in the CrossFit, well, gone through the, the qualifiers for the games since 2009. Um, I missed the first two from being on fire. I was a, I was a fire captain for, um, in the fire service for 17 years. So I missed the 2007-2008 games, which were just kind of show up and have some fun and compete and barbecue, that kind of thing. Um, competed 2009, um, missed, they took seven people from our sectional at that time. And I placed 10th, so I missed it by a couple spots. Was all excited about it. Uh, thought that was cool. Uh, the next year, same thing happened. You know, kept getting close, kept getting close, but never really broke in. Um, and I was always older than everyone else that it was that was competing. All the people that would go to the games were like in their 20s and maybe late 20s. Got a couple guys that were in like the early 30s. And when I started, I was 41. I think 41. Yeah, 41. Um, so I was I was already older than everybody else, but I didn't I didn't really care. I just I was still having fun and I was close, and so I'm like ah, I could still do this. I could still do this. Um, but I never did the masters thing. I mean they they eventually came up with the masters division. I just that wasn't my deal. I wanted to go in the in the open division, um, the big show. Um, and not that I thought that the masters was bad because I never thought that it was a bad thing. It just wasn't what I wanted. Um, I wanted to go to the games, not the Masters games. That was kind of kind of how I played it. Um, so eventually, when these guys got into it, um, both of my brother Jim uh, James and our younger brother Matt, um, they both kind of went two different veins. James was like kind of got into it. I mean, you could say what it is, but like he got into it and then like really got into it and was like, you know what? I want to. After we did the Open two years ago, he's like, I want to see what it, what a year of really training and really doing this stuff actually really does. And that's when he just went Poosh. Bill and I were so close when we grew up together. We shared the same bedroom, you know, for years until mm -hmm. he went to college. And um, I really enjoyed that bond that we had as, as, as brothers. And I felt that as we got older, we started to drift apart. And what our common ground was through all these years was athletics. It was sports. Mm -hmm. And I think one side of me really wanted to get back closer to Bill and closer to that brother bond that we had before. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so, you know, I, I, I kicked it in gear and, and around 2013 is when I said, I, I want to get into this CrossFit thing. Bill, li, li, show, out me, a, show me how to do this. Show me how to do it. When he decided he was going to do something, it was all in on that one thing, whether it was 
wrestling when we were younger, or the music thing when he was going through, you know, his his the beginning parts of his music career, or this CrossFit thing. I mean, it blew it blew up, and it was all he talked about all the time, all the time. So after the open last year, he's like, okay, I want I want to make it. I want to make it to the Masters game. That's that's what I want to do. I want to be in the top 20 in the world to make it to the games. And he's like, "Do you think? Do you think we can do it?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So we, I mean, of course, a good coach never says no. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> it's like, sure. yeah, totally. Um, and then we just went for it. He, you know, we, I started programming for him. He would do a lot of the workouts that we do in on the regular in our regular program for the gym. And then whatever uh, whatever weaknesses he had that we would start to play with. And then he just went nuts. I was like, hey man, you know, you, know. you might really make this. He's like, he's like, hey, if I make it, I think it'd be really cool if we both did it together. And I was like, that is really cool. Please don't know. <laughs> and I, 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 at that moment when I said it, I think he was thinking the same thing. Because we both kind of went, yeah. Yeah. Training in general is is not just the lifting of the weights. It's, you know, how are you sleeping? How are you eating? What are you eating? Um, when are you eating? All that type of stuff. So, as we get close, I mean, I think we've always had uh, uh, a pretty good diet as far as like, you know, uh, a paleo primal type of diet where it's that you know that caveman style of eating. Um, and I just like tri tip. So I eat a lot of that, and I like bacon, and so it's awesome. I like bacon. So it works really, really well. With the Primal Blueprint certification, that is a vast amount of information. Um, not just eat like this, but eat like this and why and how, and gives the explanations. Um, and you can kind of, what I like about it is you can get kind of as scientific as you want, but you don't have to have a full-blown biochemistry degree to understand it. Um, it's very... Uh, down to earth, makes sense. Um, I mean, you can get scientific with it if you want, um, but it, there's a lot of really, really good information that you can go, okay, I'm this type of person. How do I need to eat to do what I want to do? If I'm an athlete, how should I be eating to do this? If I need, um, I'm trying to get some uh, muscular type gains or I'm trying to lose weight, how should I eat? What's going to be the best thing for me so that I'm not losing energy? All that kind of stuff, and the 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 library of, of information is gigantic, um, not just written information, but videos. Mm -hmm. And and um, the other thing about the course is that it it's like an online kind of do as you, do when you need to do it, rather than I have to schedule this one weekend to do it, which is really hard for me to schedule any weekends because lot. I'm yeah. super busy. But uh, so it's at my pace, and as you go through, you take the tests at the modules, and so you're you know you have to have your passing scores to move on type of a thing. Um, and then when you're done with that and you go through all the modules and you, you pass all the tests and you actually have a, certif a certification in that Prima Blueprint um, nutrition information and lifestyle information, which is awesome. I think that our programming is, a, is one of the best out there, but that will only get you so far if the field that you have that you're taking in to work with is a bunch of crap. So obviously nutrition is going to be a big, a big part of what we do. Um, and what is, what is great is the more information you have about nutrition um, is something that I think has been big for me as a, as a coach here at the Inferno and a programmer and just you know, dealing with a lot of people that I deal with. Um, so being a Primal Blueprint certified expert, it's really helped me a lot with you know, just athletes that I'm training and uh, a lot of the members that we have in the gym because that's, that's what a, a coach is going to get is how do I do this better? How do I lose weight? How do I get bigger? How do I gain weight? Um, how do I compete? you know, and train and eat the right foods, and I have the information for that. People always ask me if I'm excited about doing the Masters, and I would have never been excited. Like, I'm excited now that we get to go and do the Masters. And I say that and I think people think I'm using that as an excuse, but that 
That is truly what I'm excited about. Me and my brother get to go and compete like we did when we were kids. And I mean, we grew up wrestling every weekend. You know, our whole family would get them in the van five o'clock in the morning, drive to wherever the tournament was, their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and whatever else, and we'd wrestle all day and drive back. That was what we did. And wrestle each other. And wrestle each other there. The nice thing with this, we don't have to deal with each other. We just get to support each other. That's what I think is the coolest thing out of the whole deal. I mean, the games are cool, but this is cool. This is cooler, you know, being able to do what you get to do. Family. Yeah. Family. So that's awesome. <laughs>